Hey, Brian Holder here, BJHolder.com. I'm going to show you real quick how you can make an awesome carousel slider just like the one you see right here. Using just WYSIWYG Web Builder 8. Uh, here it is. Inside the interface, you come down to uh, Advanced Options, actually, in the Advanced tab, and you'll see uh, this thing called a carousel. So all you're going to do is take it and drag it out, and you can drag it out to any size you want, and this is what it'll look like. You'll have some arrows on the side and some navigation buttons down here at the bottom. Let's go through the settings real quick. Just like anything else with WYSIWYG, you double-click and you can get into the settings menu. So the first section up here is some general settings about how many pages you want your carousel to have. Uh, I have four. I think four is the default number of pages. Anything more than that, you know, your users probably aren't going to stick around long enough to see all the pages. So you can uh, probably keep it at four, but you do have the ability to add unlimited pages if you wanted to. Okay, so the next set of options you have, pause time, that's how long you want each slide to, to wait until it moves. And then the animation duration is how long do you want the animation to last while it's sliding. So, um, <clears throat> And then mode and easing are just different ways for it to, uh, to move. You can play around, there's several different, uh, several different options, lots of options for the easing here. Um, navigation buttons are the buttons on the side here with the arrows which allow people to click them and flip from slide to slide to slide. You can choose whether or not you want them on. And if you have custom navigation buttons, you can actually upload those here and use your own custom images for those instead of the default black ones there. Pagination is the buttons down at the bottom that you can also click to go directly from, let's say, slide 1 to slide 4. And you can control the, the color of those as well as the side and the spacing between them. And then for the style, you can choose predefined styles. You can give it a background if you want, or it can keep the background of the page. Um, several different options like you do have with shapes and other WYSIWYG features. And then also you can give it a, a style border if you want. So that's about it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just take uh, any element you want, and you can drag it and drop it directly into the carousel interface. You can see once you actually have an item inside and it's being dropped within the carousel, you'll see that the carousel actually highlights blue briefly, and then when you let go from the click, it goes away. And to navigate through the carousel and to add different features into it, you, you, you can navigate just like any user would. You can either click on these arrows here, or you can click directly on the page that you want to edit. And that's it. Pretty easy, pretty simple, much better than coding anything. Again, my name is Brian. Visit me online www.bjholder.com for more great WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 tutorials. Thanks.